तो रिसेंटली आई मेड अ वीडियो ऑन क्रिएटिंग एब्स्ट्रैक्ट ऑर्गेनिक क्रिएचर इन ब्लेंडर एंड हाउ टू एनिमेट इट अलॉट ऑफ पीपल एक्चुअली लाइक द वीडियो सो आई मेड दिस एनिमेशन विच रिक्वायर्स जस्ट फ्यू क्लिक्स एंड ऑल्सो यू डोंट नीड अ वेरी पावरफुल कंप्यूटर टू रेंडर इट आउट सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग इनफ टाइम लेट्स गेट इन टू द वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गेट रेड ऑफ बोथ ऑफ द डिफॉल्ट क्यूब एंड द लाइट सोर्स एड अ यूवी स्पियर और एन आइको स्पियर इन टू द व्यू पोर्ट बट फॉर द टूटोरियल पर्पज आई एम गोइंग with the icosphere select the icosphere then tap for edit mode three for face selection then go to face and uh, extrude individual faces you can get a control of the offset of the faces from here this should be fine for the scene now press tab again to come out of the edit mode then head over to modifier properties and add a displace modifier press new to add a new material and uh, under textures tab change the type of texture from image or movie to distorted noise now let's add one more modifier that is the subdivision surface modifier change the render value of the subdivision modifier to 4 now add a simple deform modifier change the angle value to 360 degree and select the axis type to z axis then again duplicate the displace modifier click on this icon to add a new texture and reduce the strength value of the new displace modifier to 0.04 Now rotate the icosphere to get a desired look for your scene. Now we need to animate the icosphere. So for that, add an empty plane axis and a curve circle. Select the empty plane axis. Go to constraints and add a follow path constraint. Select the Bezier circle as the target object. Change the end value of the timeline to 240 frames. Insert a keyframe at the first frame. Then go to the 241st frame. Change the offset value to 100 and insert a key. Frame. Now select the icosphere. Again, head over to modifier properties and uh, under the simple deform modifier, select the empty as the axis. Now play the animation. Go to the shader editor and uh, switch the viewport from solid to material preview. Then select the icosphere and press new to add a new material. Add a glass BSDF shader and press Ctrl Shift and uh, right mouse click and drag. to join it to a mixed shader now in the principled bsdf shader increase the weight and the scale value of the sub surface then in the radius change the values these are my original values uh, which i have used uh, for the scene but you can go with a different value select the camera and uh, under its properties change the lens type from perspective to orthography adjust the lens value now before moving ahead let's uh, switch the render engine from ev to cycles select the device type to cpu or gpu enter viewport and render max samples to 32 and 128 and under color management change the look to punchy go to world properties and reduce the color to all the way dark now we will need to add some lighting to the scene so for that add an area light into the viewport select and move it upwards in z axis then go to its object data properties increase the power to 1000 watts change the shape from square to disk increase the size to a higher value and uh, under beam shape play with the spread value uh, to get a desired look for your scene now head over to the render mode to get a preview of the scene uh, render out the image to see that if we need to fix something or uh, it's looking good or not Uh, you can play with the strength value of the displaced texture or you can also apply some additional subdivision values to give additional details to your scene beside this you can go to the camera properties and uh, play with the depth of field value to provide some more interesting details to your scene additionally you can also add some volumetrics or fog lighting and uh, it's all up to you how you can explore the scene and it's all depends upon you now that's enough for today's video hope you guys learned something new if you found the video useful do drop a like subscribe the channel and uh, don't forget to add your valuable comment hope to see you all in the next video till then stay tuned and keep learning